Today, we're going to have a real battle royale over PHP frameworks. Have a seat as we'll compare Laravel, Symfony, and Code Igniter. Watch till the end and discover which is right for your next project. We're Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. And you're on our channel. Weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. And use that super thanks feature to support our channel. We'll appreciate it and deliver more great content. Let's start with Laravel. Laravel is free, open source PHP web framework. It's known for its elegant syntax. Laravel believes that development must be an enjoyable and creative experience. And Laravel has a lot of appeal because of its out-of-the-box functionalities. It boasts a templating engine called Blade, similar to Symfony's Twig, but with a few differences. Laravel is great for lightweight applications where rapid development and clean documentation are essential. However, bear in mind that it's quite resource intensive. And next up is Symfony, the underlying heart of many other PHP frameworks, including Laravel. Symfony is a robust, open source PHP framework known for its reusable components. You can think of Symfony as the Lego set of the PHP world, with each block being a standalone component. This modular nature provides unrivaled flexibility, allowing you to use only what you need and ignore the rest. In terms of speed and performance, Symfony takes the cake. After Symfony's sixth version, it became a powerhouse with customizable components and support of PHP 8 for even greater speed and data processing. Unlike Laravel, Symfony is designed to efficiently support extensive applications that need to handle millions of data per day. It's perfect for projects that require strict programming patterns and long-term support. However, its flexibility and power come with a steep learning curve. Finally, we have Code Igniter our third fighter. It's a powerful PHP framework with a very small footprint. CodeIgniter boasts that it's built for developers who need a simple and elegant toolkit to create full-featured web applications. It's like the Swiss army knife of PHP frameworks. One of CodeIgniter's pros is its performance. It's fast, like really fast. It also doesn't require strict coding rules, which some developers love. It's like having a cool, laid-back boss. But on the flip side, CodeIgniter's documentation isn't the best. It's not very detailed and sometimes leaves developers scratching their heads. Now, subscribe to our channel not to miss our future videos. We're planning some more comparisons and use cases, so stay tuned. You're probably confused by now. So let's do a review and, most importantly, find out when and which framework is better. Let's revisit Laravel. Remember the muscle car analogy? Laravel is powerful and fully loaded. It's an excellent choice for complex web applications that require extensive functionalities. Laravel is also a superb choice if rapid development is a priority for you. It has many tools and shortcuts that make development quick and efficient. If your development team is comfortable with advanced PHP, Laravel is a brilliant choice. Now, let's talk about Symfony. Think of Symfony as the custom Lego set. It's perfect for concrete, large-scale web projects. It's extremely customizable and flexible, which means you can adapt it to meet exact project requirements. If you're building an enterprise-level application, Symfony could be your go-to. It's extremely reliable and has wide industry acceptance. The trade-off, though, is that it requires experienced developers who can handle its steep learning curve. And last but not least, let's discuss Code Igniter, the Swiss army knife of PHP frameworks. Remember? This one is great for small to medium applications and for projects where speed and lightweight structure are critical. It doesn't enforce strict coding rules, which some developers might prefer. So if you're a newbie in the PHP world or your application doesn't require advanced features, CodeIgniter is a good choice. And that wraps up our battle royale of PHP frameworks. As you can see, there are no winners. Each framework can be suitable for a specific project, and only you can decide which one exactly. If you're curious to see another confrontation, we recommend our video Node.js vs PHP. 
you'll definitely be interested. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.